When Kevin Samuels first died, I was not a fan. I didn't say anything disrespectful or harsh, but he was not someone that I particularly cared for, simply because the men that I knew that liked him that were sharing his videos with me, all of his videos were very critical of women, and they seemed to be uh, putting women down, specifically black women, and I can never co-sign on that. But because his death was so shocking, it made me look deeper into his life, his belief system, and his work. And what I found was most of it I do like. Most of his thinking I do agree with. He's like the uncle that hits you with tough love. And if you say anything that he doesn't like, he, he hits back. And I'm, I'm like that too. So I don't really have an issue with him. So the people that have been uh, on my channel and felt that I did not like the man. I never disliked him. I just didn't care for his work, that's all. But upon uh, further examination and giving it a thorough look through, I do find that I like 95% of it. And I certainly liked his presentation, his aesthetics, uh, the way he carried his channel, and of course his hustle. You have to respect someone's professional acumen when they are making as much noise as he is. I do consider it a large loss simply because he was, his trajectory was skyrocketing. He was definitely doing uh, phenomenal things in a very uh, rapid pace. And as a business person, I admire that. I admire what he was doing professionally. And personally, I do believe uh, his beliefs paralleled mine in many areas. So I have become someone who definitely likes his work uh, in hindsight and definitely can appreciate what he was bringing to the conversation of relationships. I do not agree with everything he said, and I certainly don't agree with some of the characterizations he gave for women over the age of 35. That I vehemently disagree with. But most of the other stuff I did agree with and certainly could understand his perspective and his point of view. So I do apologize to the Manosphere and those who were uh, strong followers and believers and fans of Kevin Samuels. And I also appreciate you taking me to task and f somewhat forcing me to look, take a closer look at this man's work. Uh, because the more uh, the guys on my channel stood their ground and uh, were kind of um, scolding me for not having a softer view of him, it made me look deeper into his work because I needed to understand why he was having such a profound impact on men to the point where they were... Um, you know, feeling so strongly about someone they had never met. And upon closer examination, I have certainly come to appreciate uh, more of this man's work than I thought that I would. So I do like most of what he has presented to the marketplace. And I do like uh, his business acumen. I do like his uh, presentation, his uh, hustle, and many things about him. And it is a huge loss. So I do apologize to the Manosphere and those who were fans of this man's work if I was insensitive. I don't think that I was, but I could have been. So um, I do apologize, and I do uh, certainly feel it's a loss 
uh, he made a huge impact on social media and he made a huge impact on black men and relationships and we hadn't seen that in uh, I can't remember when so he is to be appreciated and um, held in high esteem for that and I certainly can appreciate that and I can also admit when I didn't do um, a thorough look into this man's work and it was simply a matter of time I didn't have time to look at him but I did see several videos that people sent and in those videos it wasn't showing him in the best light but since his passing I certainly have gone through far more of his work and have come to uh, appreciate him so again my apologies to the Manosphere I do like Kevin Samuels, I do like his work, and I do consider it a great loss that he has left the earth as soon as he did. So those of you on my channel and on my platforms who have uh, stayed on me about doing due diligence where Kevin Samuels is concerned, I thank you because in doing so, in uh, going back and looking into it, primarily because he died, but also because of you guys really saying, hey, this guy had a greater impact than you're giving him credit for. And, and I do like to be fair in my assessment of people. So I did go back and look at his work and uh, try to be as diverse as I could in what I sought out and looked at. And I did have a greater appreciation for what he has brought to not only the YouTube community, but to the uh, marketplace. I think he was a very good businessman. I think he uh, had his hand on the pulse of what was happening. And it is an enormous loss that someone uh, so bright with so much potential left before a lot of that could be realized. So I do feel a, an enormous sense of loss with his passing and I felt that immediately when he passed and I have since become someone who really um, likes what he was doing as a businessman and understands his philosophy more and actually agrees with most of it. So, Manosphere, you can relax. I am on board when it comes to uh, Kevin Samuels, the godfather of the Manosphere.